Hi, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot here with another quick tip about the map mode in iFly EFB. So, the map mode uh, can be selected by clicking map mode on the bottom left, of course. And we'll first start up at the top here, and we have a few things we can change. So, of course, we can see the normal VFR sectional chart. We can also switch to our vector mode. So, the vector mode is a simplified version that just shows all the airports, the different airspaces, highways, um, any water, and it also uh, works for Canada as well. Alrighty, next up if we click map mode we have an instruments layer and so this one's literally just going to show the, the most basic instruments uh, that you need just in case for a backup. Next we of course have the normal IFR chart so there's the IFR low chart, IFR ch high chart, and then if we go back to here we can also enable the 3D EFIS which we have another video on as well. We actually have most videos, like a separate video for all of these as well. Um, if you're curious in diving in depth into one specific feature, but this is more an over of an overview. So next off, we'll check out the METAR slash TAF. So of course this is going to show the little METAR and TAF circles. So green would be VFR, blue is marginal VFR, red is IFR, and then I don't know if there's any purple or magenta, but that is low IFR. There we go. Next, we'll sh hide that one and we'll show the next rad layer. So of course this is your next rad, your radar layer, and uh, we can also animate this. So if we click here and we click the black gear icon to the right of next rad, we can click animate next rad, and it'll show it in motion and the times that that's going. So you can kind of see the trend of what's happening with that storm. We'll go map mode again, we'll hide the next red layer, and we can show the airmet slash sigmets. So if we zoom out here, we'll see them across the whole US here. That is a very big thunderstorm airmet. And so we can select between the different layers here as well, just to see what we're looking at. Next, we have the glide range. So this will show you a ring around your aircraft once you're in the air. I'm on the ground, so it's not going to show one, but it'll show a ring of your glide range based on the glide settings that you've put in your aircraft profile. We have another video on that as well. Map sketch, that's just going to be for any sketches that you have on the map. So if I put, uh, let's just say 121.5, if I was trying to remember that frequency, I can write that down on the map and it will stay there. And the map sketch, of course, puts it away when we deselect and select that. Custom waypoints. These are just waypoints that you can create on the map. Uh, you can make them to be either specified airports, but they just sit on the map, you can plan to them, and they're used to help you mark things. Traffic, of course, that's going to show your traffic layer. So if you have an ADSB system hooked up to your iFly, it'll all get displayed here, and so we would enable traffic for that. I'm not hooked up to an ADSB right now, or an ADSB receiver, so we wouldn't be able to see that. And as always, with this black gear icon, it's always a good thing to check out because if you click that, it's going to pop up some more settings to change there. And I just actually just released a video for the alerts there that goes more in depth on that as well. We also have an obstructions layer, and there's a fixes layer for the IFR pilots out there, and one for fuel prices as well. And that just goes into the most recent fuel prices. Um, you can check out when the fuel prices have been updated by tapping on the airport and then clicking airport info. And you can see uh, for 100 Lola, that was updated 15 days ago. And so that's always something to verify because occasionally, you know, it may have been updated and iFly hasn't seen that. So that's just something to be wary of. Other than that, that's mainly the map mode. Actually, there's a night mode as well. And so that just makes it a lot easier to see at night. Switch to day mode. But other than that, that's all I have for you today with the map mode settings. If you have any questions, feel free to give us an email at support at adventurepilot.com or call us at 214-585-0444. Thanks. Bye.